A Magical Muddle. It was Monday evening at Cobweb School for Young Witches. Tabitha and her friends took their seats as their teacher, Miss Brewer, walked into the classroom. She was the strictest teacher in school. Today is a very important day, announced Miss Brewer. The head witch will be coming to inspect the school and we must all be on our best behaviour. Tabitha was worried. She wanted to impress the head witch, but sometimes her spells went wrong. Tabitha needed a brilliant idea. At playtime, she crept into the library and found a dusty spell book. Inside it, there was a brain box spell. This will make me really clever and will impress the head witch, she thought. She took out her wand, but before she could cast the spell, she heard some footsteps. Tabitha knew she wasn't supposed to be inside at playtime, so she read the spell quickly and tried to remember it. Then she slammed the book shut and raced outside. When no one was looking, Tabitha started to spin. Swirling, twirling, whirling too. Make me smart with the dibbly do. And with that, there was a huge puff of smoke. When Tabitha returned to class, Miss Brio was angry. What would the head witch say when she sees this? She asked crossly. Of all the days, do you have a cat in class? Tabitha explained what had happened. I must have gotten the spell wrong, she said. Well, make sure you change yourself back into a witch before our special visitor arrives, said Miss Brewer. But Tabitha didn't know how. At lunchtime, Mimi offered to help Tabitha. I know the brain box spell, she said. If I cast it on myself, I will become clever enough to change you back. Mimi started to spin. Swirling, twirling, whirling too. Make me smart with the wibbly woo. And with that, there was a huge puff of smoke. Miss Brewer looked angrier than ever as the two young witches explained what had happened. I must have got the spell wrong, said Mimi. Of all the days to have a cat and a zebra in my class, said Miss Brewer, just make sure you change yourself back into witches before our special visitor arrives. But Tabitha and Mimi didn't know how. When Miss Brewer left the room, Agnes offered to help them. I know the brain box spell, she said. If I cast it on myself, I will become clever enough to change you back. Agnes started to spin, swirling, twirling, whirling too. Make me smart with the hibbly hoo. And with that, there was a huge puff of smoke. Miss Brewer's head looked like it was about to explode as three young witches explained what had happened. I must have got the spell wrong, said Agnes. I'll help, said Freya from the back row. Swirling, twirling, whirling too. Make me smart with the ribbly roo. No, that's not it. Watch me, shouted Beatrice. Coughing in the smoke, Swirling, twirling, whirling too. Make me smart with the gibbly goo. One by one, each young witch tried to cast the brain box spell on themselves. And one by one, they got it wrong. Soon, the room was full of animals. That's enough, shouted Miss Brewer sternly. Do I have to do everything myself around here? She took out her wand and started to cast a spell. Bimble, bimble, mend the glitches. 
turn these creatures back to a chew. Miss Brewer sneezed, and with a puff of smoke, turned herself into a giraffe. Oh no! She cried. Of all the days to be a giraffe! Just at that moment, the door opened, and in walked the head witch, who looked very shocked indeed. She turned to Miss Brewer, who was explaining what had happened, and began to laugh. What a welcome! The head witch chuckled. I just love to see young witches who want to give things a try and help each other out. Miss Brewer stopped looking so worried and began to laugh as well. Now, said the head witch, putting some ticks on her inspection sheet. I'm feeling quite left out. Who can turn me into a unicorn? Tabitha raised her paw. I don't know if I can, she said, but I could give it a try. Just do your best, said the head witch. And don't worry, if it goes wrong, I always did like surprises. The end.